More migrants from Asia are once again looking to move to Australia after the country completely lifted border controls in 2022. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Australia's Python restrictions kept skilled migrants out for almost two years. Since it reopened, more people from countries including Singapore, India and the Philippines are heading there to fill its labour shortages. According to statistics from the Australian Department of Home Affairs, a total of 13,085 Filipinos were granted permanent visas under the country's migration program from July 1, 2022 to June 30, 2023, up from 9,159 for the same period in 2018 and 2019. Australia logs its annual statistics from July to June according to its fiscal calendar. The number of Indians who received these visas increased to 41,145 in the fiscal year ending 2023. From 33,611 from 2018 to 2019. The number of Singaporeans moving there is also on the rise. In the year ending 2023, 1,718 Singaporeans were granted permanent visas under the program. An increase from 1,135 for the year ending 2019, said a spokesperson for the department. Migration rates have grown so quickly that Canberra is pumping the brakes. On December 11, Australia announced it intends to have the intake of migrants over the next two years. Tightening visa rules for international students and low-skilled workers. International students will now need higher ratings on English tests and they would find it harder to get a second visa to prolong their stay. But the reforms are not likely to affect Singaporeans too much, as the majority who apply for visas are skilled workers, said Mr. Philip Ng, Director of Migration Agency OCSC Global. Mr. William Lee of Austral Migration Consultancy said, although Australia might tighten rules for visas such as those for working holidays, which allow holders to stay for up to 12 months. The new rules will not affect permanent migration. Australia is heavily reliant on new migrants to fill labour shortages, he said, adding that migrants contribute to the economy when they set up their homes and through their taxes when they begin working. Singaporeans are moving there for a number of reasons including a desire for better work-life balance and a lower cost of living than Singapore's, said migration agencies. These agencies added that inquiries about and applications for visas under Australia's migration programme have exceeded pre-pandemic levels. Mr Lee said there has been a 20-30% to 30 increase in new clients and inquiries. It could be pent-up demand for those that didn't apply during the COVID-19 years, combined with the current Australian government being buoyant on increasing Australia's skilled migration intake over the next year. He said. Another agency, AIMS Immigration Relocation Specialist, said there has been a 15% increase in inquiries in the post-pandemic years of 2022 and 2023. Its managing director Jennifer Ng said a good work-life balance. Education and its proximity to Singapore made Australia an attractive choice for Singaporeans who want to move. Singapore migrants who have moved to Australia said they enjoy the slower pace of life in a less stressful working environment. Mr Daniel Tay, who moved alone to Adelaide in 2022, cited reasons such as Singapore's high population density and higher cost of living compared with Australia as reasons for his move. The telecommunications professional, 32, also pointed out that big-ticket items such as cars and houses are more affordable there.